Grading can be one of the worst parts of teaching, and if you have large class sizes that keep going up, you might be pulling in stacks of 200 papers at a time. Let me show you a couple simple ways that you might get through that a little bit faster. First big mistake I see a lot of teachers make is they write out things like 10 out of 10. You don't have time for that, it's five different letters. Instead, pick a simple symbol. I use the letter C, it means 100%. Okay, 100%, 100%. If you don't even read the papers, it goes really fast. Now, you're gonna have kids come up to you whining, going, oh, I didn't get a C on this. But you don't have to actually talk to students. That's not part of your gig. So instead, just go through really quickly and get through your 200 pages and move on to the next thing. The second rookie mistake you wanna avoid is don't go through and grade a page and then take it and flip it. Grade a page, then take it and flip it. Instead, go through and grade all of your pages in a stack. Then set your pen down so you've got two hands free and you can flip it a lot faster. That's going to save you just a little bit of time, but again, it's going to add up over the course of your time in here, and pretty soon you're going to save yourself a couple days of grading. The third tip for grading is anyone can grade sitting down at a table. You give yourself a clipboard and all of a sudden you can grade anywhere. Get a little bit of your grading done while you're cooking dinner for your family. Black lights make grading at the local rave a piece of cake. A lot of people will sleep while they sleep. Not going to get your grading done that way. Driving while you're grading, not safe. We don't encourage that. But if you get a driving service, you can go ahead and keep on grading the whole time.